Oh, what's going on, everybody? See here, and welcome back to Timberborn. So we left off on our city. We were on the islands. It was great. It was fantastic, and we were just dominating. So it's been a while. We're hopping back into Timberborn, but we're gonna do a hardcore mode. We're gonna start a new hardcore game. Hopefully, you enjoy. If you do, maybe consider leaving a like, and hopefully, I earn your subscription today. And uh, you decide to want to stick around, and hang out. So let's do a new game. Um, let's do hardcore with iron teeth because well yeah let's do hardcore with iron teeth i think that's probably the most hardcore uh and then let's select a map here so we did thousand islands last time let's do um mountain range meander plains canyon diorama let's do waterfalls kind of a smaller map I think that'll be fun. And then let's do hard. Humans did not make it and neither will you. Your settlement starts with scarce resources, droughts are severe and become even worse over time. Sharpen your incisors, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. And begin. So, uh, waterfalls. Is that the one we're doing? Waterfalls. That could be fun. Um, and well, we're going to see what we start off with here. All right. What are we calling our settlement? Um, it's going to be Beavtopia. Beavtopia. We've done it. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to take a look at what we got going on here. So we've got a river, a little bit of waterfall there. Oh my gosh. Okay, so <laughs> this map is tiny. This map is very small. So what I'm thinking... Ooh, this is going to be interesting because we don't have a lot of water to play with here. Um, even if we, so basically what we need to do is we need to get over here and dam this up so that way we can have water go to at least this level right here. So we have a nice little water reservoir right there, uh, because the thousand, oh, and then we could pop into this and fill this up probably with, with a too high water as well. Yeah. We're going to have to get some things going. Water is going to be the issue because we don't have a lot of area to pull water into. Um, and we don't have a lot of area. Well, actually, hold on a second. There's this area right here. If we broke into that, we would actually have waterfalls going down here into this area. So we needed to make sure we destroy that. And then this whole area right here would basically become our main village area. Okay, so let's see. Pre-planning here. This is what I'm thinking. We destroy this. Uh, we put up some dams here. Probably... Uh, a layer of probably a levee right here just to get this water up and then a floodgate here so we can control all the water going this way going this way okay but i don't know if we're gonna be able to do that we're not gonna be able to do that the first season so we're gonna probably just throw a go ahead and throw maybe floodgates in here yeah we'll probably just go ahead and throw floodgates in here for now oh look at there's actually a little spot right here so we can pop that one off get that uh, yeah, we're going to have to maximize our water area. So that is handy. Um, we've got berries right here. we got some trees. We can get some logging going, maybe like right in this area. And then, like I said, I think the bulk of our stuff is actually going to be in here. Because once we get water flowing on this side, this is all going to become like growable ground. Uh, and then we're going to put our houses and buildings and stuff back in here. Because I don't foresee us bringing any water in here. So this, this dead land right there, we don't need it for anything. All right. So let's get some things planned. Uh, first thing we need is we need some housing. Um, well, actually, we need probably gathering and all that fun stuff. So let's get a gatherer flag up over here. Uh, let's see. Do we have any way to get up there right now? Not really. So let's put this. Let's put that there. And then let's go ahead and get a uh, lumberjack flag. We'll throw that right there for now. Um, and then we're going to need a little bit of storage here. So industrial log pile, I feel like right next to this guy would probably be kind of handy. Uh, you know what? Let's get some pathways marked out here. So let's go straight out from this. Straight out here. Straight out there. And then let's get some water pumps in here because we're going to need that. So let's just go ahead and start with two of those and then a little bit of water storage for now. Two of those guys. All right. So there's food, there's logs, there's water. 
let's go ahead and let's hit up the housing. Uh, we're only going to really need one barracks right now, right? How many? We have 11. Ooh, and this holds 10. All right, so let's put the houses back over here somewhere. Let's do this. Let's put one there and one there. Then we'll go ahead and make a pathway. Okay, so pathways there, houses there. That'll give us enough for now. And then that'll be that. That'll be that. Okay, I think we're set on everything that we can do. Um, I'd like to get some water stuff going. Oh, you know what? We need a research deal. We need a science thing. Uh, that's like also like a very important thing. So let's get that right there, maybe. Um, and then, you know what I think we're going to try to do? I think we might actually try to do our industry stuff over here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Because we're going to need the water power. And this right here, if this is flowing, that's going to give us some water power. So that would probably work there. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's let the beavers build. And let's see if we get any shortcomings. Because like I said, this is hardcore mode. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it did, I mean, it said hard mode, but it wasn't hardcore. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and just speed things up here. Go, little beavers, go. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and add two more to this. That way we can get more uh, more building going here. Oh, we got to mark the areas. Shoot. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Wait, what are you doing? No goods in stock. Nothing to do in range. Lumberjack flag. Oh, yeah, we got to mark trees for cutting. Um, Mark tree cutting area. All right, so basically all of those. There you go. That is beginning of that. And then we're going to have some stuff here. Oh, we never put a log pile, did we? We need a log pile. Um, Industrial log pile. We'll throw that right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let them do their thing. We're going to let things get built. Because that's basically all we got going for us right now. You know what? We're actually going to throw another lumberjack down in here. Uh, there's no reason not to, you know? There. Double lumberjack flags, double lumberjack duty. What is the range on this guy? So I guess we could hit some over here. Um, I'd like to get the forester unlocked, and then we could just start foresting this whole area. And I think we're going to end up probably doing food over here. Yeah, maybe we'll do this side as logging, this side as food. But we also got to, we're going to have to see how far we can get our district center to go out, because I don't know if we can get it to go all the way over here or not. You know what? We never put a warehouse in here either. So we want to do the warehouse right there. No, let's do the warehouse on this side because this uh, this beaver right here doesn't have anywhere to store any berries. I thought we had some stored goods in there. Weird. Because that beaver was just chilling, not even not even going out berry hunting. Oh, my gosh. We already have a drought coming. Holy moly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they weren't joking when they said this was hardcore mode, huh? No unemployed beavers in the district. How do we not? Oh, let's do this. Uh, let's knock that down by one. That'll fill up that. Okay, cool. I wonder how long our first drought is going to last. So you know what? Because I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to put more water in here. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to store a bunch of water. I'd like to get all this food gathered, too. Should we get another berry collector so we can get through and make sure we get all these berries in time? Let's do that as well. Let's get that going. And then um, once that one's built, we'll go ahead and knock this down by one again and then get more berries being collected. I'd like to collect all these berries at least by this first drought. Jeez Louise, that came on immediately. Now, normally I like to have a um, our first dam built, but I don't think that is even remotely going to happen. So let's actually prioritize these. Okay, we have a day. We have one day until our water is done. Um, are you guys prioritized? Like, let's go. Come on, come on, let's get these built. We got water pumping. It's going nowhere right now. All right, so there's another water source. And look at that. It's already full. Okay. All right, drought's going to hit us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually can cancel these two because we're not going to get this built before this first drought. And those were meant to be built before this first drought. So we'll let that happen. We've got 100 water currently. Uh, we'll see how long this drought's going to last. 
We have 100 water and 72 berries. And we've only got 11 beavers. So holy moly, it is a five-day drought. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, food is going to be an issue. Food is going to be a huge issue. So let's go ahead and pause these. So that way we can get workers elsewhere. And then I guess, you know what? I guess since we're since we're not really doing a whole lot right now, we have five days. Let's go ahead and put a um a lumberjack flag on this. And then let's go ahead and mark this wood for uh for cutting because like might as well get all the wood that we can. So we can't actually even do floodgates until we have planks. And we can't do planks until we have uh some machines and stuff like that. So ooh. Yeah, we're just going to collect logs right now. How many unemployed beavers do we have? We have three unemployed. You know what? Since we have so many unemployed, let's just get as much of this wood out as fast as possible. Uh, We have six, 15 food left. And we have three days. I don't think we're going to make it. How on earth are we supposed to do this? <laughs> Um, I guess I should have planted food immediately. Oh my gosh. We're not going to have enough food. So like, the only thing I can think to do is if they somehow survive. Is we need to get a farmhouse in here and we need to plant crops and we need the fastest growing crop. Um, four days to grow. Like, this is what we're going to need to start with here. Oh my gosh. This is, this is not good. I don't think we're going to make it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to speed up. If we don't make it, we're going to have to start over because this is, ooh, I figured like this food right here would at least last us the first drought, but no. Like we apparently were supposed to try to get up here and collect this. Actually, you know what? We can make that happen. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's grab a path. Bring a path over here and over here. Food gatherer. There. Let's go ahead and pause these. Let's prioritize this. And then let's get that food going. That might save us. This little food right here might save us. I think that might save us. Okay. And then we're going to have to get carrots and stuff going here. Like we have to get food fast. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. This is challenging. We still have two and a half days. So we need 25. We need roughly 25 water. So water, I think we're going to be good. Food. It's going to be close. I think we'll be good. I think since we got these, I think we'll be good. So we still have three unemployed beavers here. Let's do this as well. Let's go ahead and get a lumberjack flag here. And we'll mark all these trees to cut down because then I think this is going to turn into like a farming area in the future anyways. Uh, so mark trees for cutting this whole area. Make sure there's no trees in there so we can plant. So we're at zero food and we have a day left. This is going to be interesting. And anyway, I don't I don't have any like we have zero food anywhere that I could even go and grab. Like if we could get over here, I mean, maybe we need to make a platform to get over here and get these berries. Um, we might have to, oh, I don't even have a platform and that requires, that requires those. Okay. What about this? 20 logs per thing. I mean, we're getting logs, but can we build this across and get over here fast enough? No, like there's no way. Oh, you know what? Let's try. We have to at least try it. So we'll put a dam across there. We'll grab our pathway. We're going to pathway across here to there. And we're going to try to get over here. But I don't even foresee this happening. Even if I prioritize this, like we only have 11 logs.
Yeah, let's. Well, you know what? There's nothing else being built, so I think we'll be okay. That's. I mean, that's all they can build right now, so we don't even have to prioritize it. Oh, I think we're about to lose. Yep, everybody's hungry. Everybody's gonna die of starvation. Oh, this is fantastic. I'm hoping that water comes in here, and then maybe some of these things have berries. Oh, they're all gonna die tonight. Oh, because I think they can only go. Was it one day without food? I don't know. I guess we'll see. And now we're at zero water as well. So let's go ahead and resume that. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that down by one. Get a beaver bark working back in there. Oh, this is not good. Died of hunger. Yep. I don't. I think we're done. One already died of hunger. We need that water coming back in here like right now. I mean, water's good. Food is non-existent. I think we're going to lose the rest of them today. We already lost two. Yep, there's another one. Okay, so the farm is important. The farm is like, we got to set that up day one and get things going day one. That's it. We are at zero beavers. We lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's fire up a new one. All right, and this is Beavtopia 2.0. All right. Uh, invalid name. Oh, we'll call it two. There, Beeftopia two. All right, let's pause it. First thing we need to do: food and water, because we have a uh, we have a drought coming like right now. So let's go ahead and extend this out down here. Basically, kind of the similar of what we did last time, just to make sure everything is good to go. Uh, let's see: food, farmhouse. Actually, we need, uh, we have to have gatherers. So lumberjack flag, we'll do two of them there. Okay, so I had, I went ahead and got all this stuff set up. Um, we need to get all of this stuff going. We need to prioritize basically, I think I built it in the priority that we need to do it. So let's go ahead and play it. So first thing, uh, water. Actually, you know what? We need to get, well, let's prioritize the, the farmhouse because we got to get the crops growing because we only have, I think like three days. Of water so like this has to happen day one i'm hoping this can happen day one and that we can think get things planted oh come on come on oh it didn't happen day one <laughs> i tried apparently i should have had a third lumberjack in here okay that's going they're planting let's go ahead and turn this down i want to get as much stuff planted as i can so we got two in there okay cool so we got food going in. Let's let the water and stuff get built. Uh, you know what? We can go ahead. We could probably throw another lumberjack back in here. All right. We got water coming in. And then let's see. Yeah, let's get... Um, do we want another lumberjack right now? It probably would be ideal so we can get things built faster because we need to get the... Um, we need to get our water and stuff like that done. Actually, let's go ahead and prioritize water storage. Yeah, we'll throw another lumberjack flag over here. And then we'll mark this area to cut again. Oh, okay. Our field of carrots is has been planted. So hopefully that'll help. Should help. It, it really should help. Okay, so now we have a drought coming in three days. Uh, these should all be nice and grown by then. So that'll be good. We should hopefully survive the first season this time <laughs> the first drought um oh man if i if i could have got a dam in here that probably would have helped but i think we'll be okay we need to get these um these guys built and yeah pumping filling those things up like crazy now hopefully the carrots will be done today 92 93 okay cool so all these carrots should be done today we should be able to get our first harvest and then okay good pumps are running we have five water bins we've got food coming in uh, and then I go, went ahead and got the small warehouse going because we need to be able to store the food as they're ready. So perfect timing. And then they should get this going. Okay. Oh, good, good, good. Yes, get all of those harvested. Wonderful. It'd be nice if we could get all these filled up too. All right, the drought has officially started. I was hoping we could get all these filled up, and these buildings are no longer going to work, so we're going to go ahead and pause those. Uh, carrots. Um, you know, 
it might be ideal to get another farmhouse in here to help with that. Yeah, let's get another farmhouse in here. 25 logs. Okay, cool. They should build that because we don't have anything other buildings going. And then we can get the uh, the other two in here and they can start harvesting. Because how long do these have before they die? They die in 1.4 days. So yeah, we need to get all these crops out. Awesome. Okay, prioritize action harvesting. Doubling the action of uh, the harvesting action effort. <laughs> Oh, okay. We should be good this time. Jeez, that was uh, that right there was a lesson. That first time was a lesson for sure. So now, since we're chilling and waiting, uh, and we're harvesting lots of logs, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a dam in right across here. That'll give uh, the beavers something to do and use that wood for, because that's gonna be probably super important for us next season to make sure we at least have this water, and hopefully we can actually get like you know some floodgates in here. And all that fun stuff, but... Oh, holy moly. Yeah, we've got lots of food now. One said we're almost at 200 food now. Ooh. Yep, day one farm. You gotta do it. And these are all gonna die now. Well, couldn't even get them all out in time, but that's okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and mark this uh, for demolition so that way water can flow into here. And then is there anything else we can mark for demolition? Um, these over here would be nice to mark, but I don't think our beavers are going to be able to reach these. So we'll just mark them for now. And then I, I know for sure they can't reach. Uh, yeah, we're going to get dynamite to blow that out. Mm. So let's get a lumberjack flag in here. How many unemployed do we have? Two unemployed? We'll get another one over here too. And then we'll mark these for cutting. So we probably also need to get some baby making chambers in here. Um, because we're going to start, people are going to start dying of old age. And we need to make sure we at least have beavers coming in to the point that we can, you know, handle them. But they do require berries as uh, their fuel source, their baby making source, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh Drought has ended. Oh my gosh. We still have 40 water. We have 177 food. Ooh, we survived. We survived. All right. So since we survived that, now we can actually kind of plan a little bit more for the future. Um, we are going to have the dam in here, so that should work. We have plenty of wood over here, plenty of wood over here. We need to get the housing going, and we need to get research going so we can unlock the forester and stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and let's put that... I don't know. We'll throw that right there, maybe trying to stay out of the um out of the the green areas here oh you know what when this comes in here this is probably gonna turn green so we probably need to stay away from that area so let's go ahead and put a path in maybe this way like that okay we got things going uh let's go ahead and start these back up now i can only assume that our next drought's going to be even worse so I think the first thing that I want to research is probably going to be... Oh, we can't do floodgates because we have to get the um, the planks and stuff going first, too. You know what? Can we prioritize this? Let's prioritize. Uh, yeah, let's prioritize that. I want to get this popped open. I want to see like what this is going to create as far as green area. Because if it opens up this whole area right here, I think this might become our, like, lumberjack area or, like, our, our wood area. So then we can bring the road this way and have all this full of trees and woods and logs and stuff like that so that we can harvest those. And then we can focus on maybe this area farming, this area farming, uh, kind of see what goes on here. We need to pop this open as well and get water in here. But, um, oh, last damn piece. Nice. Let's get that built. Almost done. Oh my gosh, we have a drought coming in three days again. <laughs> it's a hardcore mode for sure. <gasps> hardcore mode for sure. Okay, come on. It's got to be almost built. How do we not have somebody there to, to pump water? Um, we should be okay this time. We have two there. We have two there. How are these carrots looking? We got, what, two days left? Okay, so those should be able to get finished so we can get those out in time. So I'm gonna think, I'm thinking that this area right here might become our main farming area because this body of water hopefully will be chilling here 
And because what happens is once this dries up, these crops dry out and they, they die. So if we want to grow anything over carrots, we're going to have to water like consistently longer. Um, I really want this to come out too. Is that damn done? Nice. Is anybody going to deconstruct this? I have that like highest priority. Oh, look at that. Harvest carrots coming in. Uh, we got our second pump up and running. I paused this lumberjack over here because, I mean, there's not really a whole lot for it to do right now anyways. And waters are getting filled up. Now, I know we have the dam, but I want to, like, you know, have as much water stored while the water's flowing. So that way we can hopefully not be pumping too much from here. So that way we can keep water in here and the crops can, you know, stay grown a little bit. This still hasn't been destroyed yet. I don't know why. We got our first little incubation chamber breeding, too. So that's good. Hopefully it stays long enough because berries, ooh, we don't have any. <laughs> we have no berries. Oh, look at that. Happier than ever. Nice. That's because we got um our shelter now. And we only have 10 beavers because one, one beaver already died of old age, which is why we needed to get that breeding chamber going. So we're working. Everything's going. Hopefully we can survive and have a wonderful time. Um, What do we want to do now? Because the drought started, we don't need two of these pumping water. So let's go ahead and pause that one. I guess we'll just focus on... Let's go ahead and enable that again. And let's just hope for the best. But that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Timberborn. Uh, hardcore Iron Teeth. It's exciting, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it was exciting the first season. The first time we died. So hopefully we won't do that again. I'm thinking that what might be kind of cool is if eventually we could, uh, cause see how this area right here is like all full and there's like a nice slip. If we could pop this open this way and like have a big lake right here, that's like a, you know, a reservoir that we could like build up to and then use this water if we need to. Basically we are working on how to conserve water cause the, the droughts are only going to get worse from here on out. So I want to get um, I want to get floodgates, I think, right in here so we can have, you know, as soon as the flood starts, we can lock those down to, you know, one block height. So that way this actually stays full. Open this up, get this water source going, get this river going, throw floodgates here and just oh, hope for the best. So, um, yeah, that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, maybe consider leaving a like. And if you think I earned it, maybe consider subscribing as well for some more. But that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Timberboard link down below if you want to check it out. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.